Alrighty then, let's go ahead and do this example here. So, once again, I'm going to refresh my darks. A little bit of that, a little bit of this. Okay, so I think that the first thing that I'll do is I'll just work over here, making this little island area, or little inlet, whatever it is. Who knows what it is? Right, and here, and let's let's put a few a few pine trees on there. Why not? Pine trees. Cool. Couple little trees. And maybe, oh, maybe there's a few over here as well. There. Another, another pine there. Another, another, another taller. Okay, nice and lacy. Okay, so instead of putting a big old pine tree up front, I'm just going to put a big old leafy tree up front. All right, well, I must admit, I, I kind of like the, this area in here with all that sky and the water and everything, and I didn't, I didn't really want to lose it. So this time, instead of making a big old pine tree or whatever, I put these little branches and trunks and stuff in here. But before I do anything more up front, let's get these guys back here taken care of. Okay, so I've made this beautiful sort of khaki, yellowy green right here. I think that'll be pretty good for these guys here. Just to add a little bit of color into them. Just nice and lacy. And they're kind of in silhouette, so they don't have to have a whole lot of color. Just a little bit. We don't want them to be just nothing but dark. And just the impression of little bushes back there or something. Some kind of thing going on. You know, maybe maybe there's more of the reds and the browns back here too, a little bit, something, just a little bit of color, just a little bit of lighter tone there. Didn't even use white, but just a little bit, just that'll give it just a hint of dimension. So once again, not real bright, but your eye will pick it up. It's enough. And maybe just a little hint of some reflection in that water. Not a lot. Just a very shallow reflection. Just a little. Okay, so now I've got a clean brush here. I'm just going to take, it's even got just a little bit of water on it. It's not totally dry. Just pull that down, go across. That's going to be just a little indication of a reflection. Just, a, just barely moistened the bristles on this brush here. Pull it down. Not a whole lot of water, I'll just wash it out. Just tiny. There it is. And then just Okay. Sorry. That's enough. That's enough right there. 
Here, I'd used one of these palette knives before. I'm just going to give this a little bit of a little bit of rocks around the shore there. A little something. It's going to work right into that wet paint. Just to give it a little something. See, that's too bright. Let's work that in. Just give me this little impression of something going on. So there I could even take like a little yellow, for instance. And put just a little bit right there. Just reflecting that light a little bit more. Keeping with these bright yellows and everything. Cool. And then... Okay. This is best done while everything is nice and wet still. Got just a little roll of paint on here. Just a little bit right by the shoreline there. Just a little bit of something. Not too much. Okay, that's yeah, just enough to wetten it up just a little bit. There. Okay, stop. Stop, stop, stop. You can really overdo that so easily. Okay. Oh, cool. So now we get to play around here. That's where I really wanted to play anyways. So we've got this all nice and dark here. Hopefully my paint's not gotten too dry already. But let's just mix some white into this area here where I was making that dark color and then let's just see what happens a little bit of that blue a little bit of this Ooh, getting nice blue grays Ooh, i like that a little bit yeah okay Ooh, a little bit more of that just some nice dark tree gray colors all right let's see here so and then just just shoot that up there just painting it Running that right, right up the center of that. It's actually going to be the darkest area, I think. I want to have that light just coming around those things. Yeah, okay. So now I've mixed an area here, and I might need a little bit more, but it's just, I've just taken and added into that same bunch of stuff like that. A little bit of yellow, oh, a little bit of brown. So a bit of white, because I want this to area to be lighter. Okay. And let's see. Just around that edge. See how that's going. Try and keep that towards the edge. And then just rough, 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 rough. Roughly blend it in. Try not to kill all your color. And around this other edge as well. Okay, and then on the edges here, I want a real orangey, bright sort of color. Just so it's just really getting that edge of that on there, and it's just turning them on fire almost, right? Just... Okay, good enough. Maybe even to bring up the contrast, I'll even go with a little bit of that dark, even right back in almost black towards the center of that really to get I wanted that effect that the light is just wrapping around it now let's cover it on some nice little leaves let's give a few leaves all right so here I'm going to start with my dark again same old dark brush I haven't even washed it or anything and here we go Maybe a little bit more green to it than that. Even in that dark, we'll go with a little bit more green. And 
these guys are just kind of shrubby they're out in this sort of dry looking climate so they are not super lush Okay, and so I've got just I've just taken a little bit of that red, and here I had that kind of schmutzy yellow. Here's some yellow. Here's a little bit of that red, a little bit of schmutz, right? I'm getting these nice oranges and yellows with just a hint of green underneath them all. That's how you get all these different colors on your brush, right? It's not to mix here. There's a little bit of green, right? Then I get right into this little red. It's going to give me all those colors at once. Maybe a little bit more of that yellow. Oosh, just right there a little bit. See, you know, I'm just building it on top of my darks. Here's the darks. And I'm going to go kind of on top of them, right? I want to build up those layers because that's a form. That's a form, right? That little branch of stuff that we're putting on here is a form. The same old dirty brush, haven't even cleaned it. And a little bit of blue, a little bit of that yellow. And let's see what we can do down here. Get those same kind of grassy things, but this time a little bit of color. Okay, so now I'm just going to re add a little bit more of the darks into there. Because right, I want to make these clumps. These clumps are forms, right? So they have to have a dark and they have to have light to make it. You see, I'm just laying that brush on there. Just they're using the bristles. Pat, 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 pat. Just the sides of those bristles. Okay, that's pretty good. I think we're almost done. But I think I want to. I want to go ahead. I got a clean brush right here, and let's see. We're gonna make those things pop somehow or another. So I've got a little bit of yellow and a little bit of white. All right, let's see. We're just going to mix that in there. And let's see. There it is. Not everywhere. Ooh, look at that white coming off. That's so great. Mmm, a little bit of red. Ooh, a little bit of red. A little bit of red's all right. Not too much. A little red goes a long ways. It's red, though. It's a little bit more pure than colors that were up there in these trees. Maybe. Maybe that's it. I think, I think, my friends, that that is another painting. There we go.